Hallelujah. We're going to raise our voices. And tell God, I thank you for this place you took me out of. Lord, say, Lord, I thank you for the time I was sick and you healed me. Lord, I thank you for the time I did not believe that I could even stand on my two feet, but today I'm standing and I'm before you. Lord, I remember that great things that you did for me. It is you who knows it. The thing where you had, you, 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 made vows. you made vows and you said, if you do it for me, God, I'll thank you. We're going to, uh, to raise our voices and remind God where he took us from out of. And we say, God, we thank you. Let us raise our voices and thank our God. Almighty God, the God of power, the God of authority, we thank you. You removed us from far places. You took us out of very far. As son of men, when we think about it, it's beyond. That's why we say, who well, is the son of man? That you would take care of him. That you would do good to them. Lord, you took us from very far. Lord, there are those that you go, took us from, from cemeteries. You, those that you remove from water. And those that you put life in, oh God. Those that you took us out of hell and they became alive. They are those that you resurrected and well, it was finished for them. And they had started carrying a coffin. Lord, you rescued and put back life. Lord, where you took us out is very far. You have hidden us from very difficult things. You covered many graves because of us. Lord, you covered up and removed so many things. You gave a great army to die for us. Lord, that is why we are standing here thanking you. This morning we have thanksgiving in our heart. Today, this morning we have a lot of thanksgiving in our hearts. Because we remember where you took us out of. Almighty God, we give you the glory. Lord, we show you this service. Come and be with us. Come and speak to us. Indeed, let it not be us. But may your name be exalted. I show you the heart of everyone who is here. Let the Holy Spirit do work in Jesus them. Jesus Christ, walk among your people. We are in the month of mercy. Oh, Father, let this morning your mercy be upon us. Let your mercy mercy hover about everyone, O God. Let your mercy touch everyone, O God. Lord, we have spent a week in your presence. Let your mercy go and visit the heart of everyone who is here. Let your mercy work on the problem that they brought before you. Your mercy that heals us and, and removes all burdens. Your mercy removes all the broken hearts. May this service be full of your mercy. Almighty God, Lord, Lord of our hearts are before your eyes. We give you our hearts so that you may work in them. We remove every power of darkness in the name of Jesus the powers that steal the word. We remove them in the name of Jesus. 
power powers that defeat us in our mind and our thoughts all the powers that defeat us in hearing you all the powers of destruction we will chase them all in the name of Jesus Lord we call upon your presence in this place let your glory hover in this place Lord, may we feel your glory touch our hearts, O oh God. Lord, may your glory be yours. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, believe it. Amen. Amen. May you clap for your Lord. May God bless you. May Jesus do good to you. May we clap for God for the choir that has blessed us. You have gr you greeted each other. May you greet each other once more. And tell your neighbor, may the mercy of God be upon you. Let the mercy of God be upon you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God that has allowed us to come in his house. We have come to thank him and to praise him. On Sunday is a day of joy. Because it's a time for us to come in the presence of God to worship and praise him. We thank God that has allowed us to come. We thank God once again for our leaders who have allowed us to stand before you may God bless them it is a great it's a great grace clap for God because these are not things that you may take for granted it's the grace of God even you clap for yourself because you have come to listen to the word of God you, you have not come to waste time let Satan not to speak to you and tell you this morning where have you gone so early. Every time you take a step to come before God, there's something that gets done. It's the grace of God indeed. May God bless you. We have spent a week in the presence of God. Uh, learning about a word that says the secrets that make us reach the full victory which is a prayer we saw many things about this God did good to us we saw the value of prayer we saw the power that is in prayer. On Friday, we saw that nothing can stand before prayer, even if it's an order. We read it in Daniel uh, uh, chapter 6, from verse 10 to 25. That's what we learned, the story of Daniel. Where they threw him in the pits with the lion because of the order, the Ariko, decree. But because of prayer, prayer removes him from there because of prayer. Let us clap for God for the power of prayer. This morning, we're going to learn the good results and the bad results, the positive and the negative results that may come out of prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything has a consequence. Everything has a consequence. The good consequence that prayer brings us is that the, the, the pr prayer brings us favor before God and man. Prayer leads us to have pr favor before man and God. 
Let us read Daniel chapter 6, verse 19. From verse 18 in, uh, in, in the English version, Then the king returned to his place and spent the night without eating and without any entertainment being brought to him, and he could not sleep. Amen. Amen. Let us, let us clap for God because of his word. We are still in the story of Daniel. When the king returned to his house, when they had thrown Daniel in the pit of the den of lions, the king did not return to sleep. But he spent a night awake. He did not even eat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Often time we think that what brings us favor before men you think that when you're smart in, uh, at work or at school that people will love you. That people will draw closer to you. Because there's something they're looking for in you. At work, they love you because you work and do your things well. And at school, because you're smart, children are drawn to you because you explain to them. And they can succeed. And at home, maybe children love you because you bring, you do things for them, and you bring things like clothes and every, and they love you for that. Sometimes we dress up, we take care of ourselves so that we may be presentable, and when people look at us, they love us. All these things are good. And it is important. Indeed, let us continue doing that. But above everything we are seeking, let us add prayer. Because when prayer is added, it has a, a, a value. There's an added value on that. And it has an importance that is multiplied. And it can be seen by people. When we have that and we have the favor from prayer, it goes above. And they say that person is not the usual person. Because they have something in them that is added above, uh, that is prayer. And it becomes more beautiful. Here when we look at Daniel, the king lost sleep. He, was not, he did not receive any entertainment. When others fast during the day, him he did not eat at night. Where was the king? What was the connection between the king and Daniel? Daniel was, was not a foreigner. He was a foreigner. He was not from that country. He had come as a slave from another country. Because of the power of prayer, while Daniel was the lion's den, the king spent the night praying. The king was interceding for him. The king did not eat and he did not have any entertainment. He refused the food, the entertainment. He refused to sleep. He said, I will not please myself while Daniel is in the lion's den. What, what did Daniel do so that the king could take care of him like that? Even if he was wise to what level? He, the king would have said, let him take care of himself. He refused to listen to the decree. 
kuri Daniel. That because of the favor that was upon Daniel. Kizanwa na masenge sho ya senze gata tu kumusi abanti wanu mama sababano. Ari kwa gasabu wiche kima na nyiringabo. The favor that came from him praying three times others were going to people he was going to God. Imana ya teju ngami kuburi bitotsi. God made the led the king to lose sleep. Imuteje kakurara senge na Daniel. And ordered the king to pray for Daniel. Alara senge shoro jose. He prayed the entire night. Avuga ngo mana chisa Daniel. He said oh God protect Daniel. Mana muri inde. God protect Daniel. Mana fungiri ya minwa ya ziri anara nisi mukoreho. Lord close the mouth of those that lie on let them not touch Daniel. Aje zana ha higumu igati mana no mukura mari muzima mujitondo na hindi mani so he said he made a vow that God oh, if you protect him till morning God will protect you God listened to him and Daniel was alive Daniel we yari yari mu rwaba rw'intare atazi ibijambe atazi iki ntabwo yarazi ngo umwami ari maransengera Daniel was in the lions then he had no idea that the king was praying for him ariko umwami arabikora but the king did it Imana iyumvira umwami kuko ni yawasenze God listened to the king who spent the night praying mu gitondo ava mari muzima in the morning he came out alive tabashije kumurya and the lions that did not eat him ikintu cyabayeho ni ikihe what the thing that happened is the king that had put a decree he had put a decree Hallelujah. that contradicted the one he had put before he said not, let no one pray any other god except the god of Daniel Hallelujah. God witnessed for him he witnessed for daniel because he did not deny god brethren there are times we reach difficult times there are times we reach difficult times where we need someone to intercede for us there are times we reach where you become weak ukabukeneye umuntu wo kukwingingira and you need someone to intercede for you ukabubona imbere n'inyuma nta hahari you see before be in front and behind you there's no way utegereje kubona iki jambere gusa harakurikira wiki you want to see what is coming what is following muri cyo gihe in that moment ubukeneye umuntu guheka you need someone to carry you ubukeneye umuntu ujya mu kimbo cyawe someone to take your place none ho akakuzamura imbere y'Imana and they may raise you before God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and tell them become an intercessor in time of weakness. Intercede for your neighbor. In times of weakness. Because there are times that come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No one is powerful at all times. No one, no one is full of power at all times. Daniel was a prayer full person remember that it is him who prayed 21 days and um, the angel responded on the third day but on one day it was time for he, he needed someone to carry him because of the favor upon his life the king stood in that place hallelujah brethren whatever problem you may be facing do not be afraid. Even if you believe that there's no one praying for you, know that the Holy Spirit is interceding for you before God. Hallelujah. You might feel that things have become difficult. And you, you have put everything down. But the God you once spoke to, there are times the Holy Spirit has no peace. And he comes and visits you. And he sees the pain that is in your heart. And he sees the sorrow. And the wind of the problem that is in you. When you are unable to see before you are behind you. And the Holy Spirit starts to, to mourn for you. He's the one who speaks and words for us. 
Even when we have given up. I want the prayer that brings favor upon your life. And the Holy Spirit is Because of the problem that you have had for long. And the God of God. Our God who is righteous. The God who never forgets works. And he makes the Holy Spirit rise up. So that when you're tired. The Holy Spirit continues to intercede. Until you are responded to and receive peace in your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes we need people to carry us. And they put you on their back. And they make you cross difficult times. Where you are tired. Where you feel you do not want to pray for that one thing. Let the favor of God come Hallelujah. upon you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May you be a, 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 the favorite of God. Let the, the king did not sleep at all. The king did not eat. Is before a slave. You, you are a child of God. You, you have known Jesus Christ. You, you are a servant of God. Let the Holy Spirit do something as we are still in this service. Let the Holy Spirit touch you in this moment. Let the Holy Spirit put an end on the problem that has been troubling you. The prayer brings favor. Let us clap for God. The second thing that prayer brings, the good consequence, it is that God fights for us. Prayer fights for us. Prayer fights for us. Sometimes we, uh, uh, we are treated unfairly. You, get, you receive the consequence of something you did not have a role in. in uh, at work, you might not be treated unfairly. In, at home, you are treated unfairly. In, in society, you are treated unfairly. You meet problems and you do not even know their origin. And you find things happening to you when you had no role in it. Sometimes when this happens to us and sometimes they lie about something specific on you and we fight the battle of explaining ourselves. You explain yourself. You say this is not me who did this. You take time and fight the battle of explaining yourself before men. And yet they never even listen to you. And yet they push even further. So that the, the crime touches you and it's become yours. So that it's shown that you're a bad person. But this is not what Daniel did. Daniel did not do this. In the Bible, we see no place where Daniel explained himself. And he did not explain that as we are Jews, we do not bow before a man. The principles of our God tells us, the laws of our God tells us this and that. There is no place. There is no place. But Daniel was protected by the prayer he had prayed. He had the values that were in his heart. He said, I'm a Jew. I'm not going to bow down to idols. Genesis 20 says, do not have any other gods in my face. 
place. And God really gave him the victory. Hallelujah. He obeyed God. He honored God. And those that were even praying to the idol stopped. They said, let, that, let there be no other God we pray to. Except the God of Daniel. Brethren, most times we have explanation and we explain. You say, let me do this. Let me do this so that I do not, have, I do not fall into trouble with my boss. What, how will the workers see me? Uh, let me do it. I will explain after. Instead of me losing my job, let me accept and do it. Let, instead of losing my home, let me do it. And, and yet what you're going to do does not glorify God. But because you want to be seen in a good light in the eyes of men, you accept to hurt God so that you may please men. This is not how it ought to be. In, with this, with everything else that has happened to us, we saw that prayer can remove everything. Indeed, instead, put your hands up. And you say, God, I've reach this problem. Whether it's in your marriage, in your work, or in your studies, you say, God, I'm really in trouble. And you say, God, I'm standing in your side. Lord, can you fight for me? Lord, can you remove me from this trial? Lord, God, can you take me out of this trial I've been introduced? God will, will justify you. God will do good to you. I want to tell you that sometimes you choose to lie and you, and you shone and you're seen in the bad side and yet now it has no value and it has no results. Daniel could have said, let me go, pray to that God, it's okay, I can go back to my God anytime. We are not we are not we are not witnessing him. It is finished there. Or we will not be speaking about Daniel. But Daniel stood on the side of God. Daniel stood on the side of God. Today we give him as an example. Today we are learning from him. Today in what we go through, you say, let me also stand the way Daniel stood. And it gave him honor. The, the, the king honored him. And it even led the king to pray to the God of Daniel. We may read this in Daniel chapter 6, 25. We may read this in at the king's command, 24, the men who had falsely accused Daniel were brought in and thrown into the lion's den, along with their wives and children. And before they reached the floor of the den, the lions overpowered them and crushed all their bones. Amen. God fought for Daniel because he witnessed God. He did not fight for himself. He did not say, I'm going to fight for myself. Sometimes we decide to fight for ourselves and that kills us. Do they know who I am? Do they know who I, what I am? Do they know that I'm a great, I'm a prayer warrior. 
They did not even try to know whether he prayed. He just put his heart and fixed it on God. Let us learn to fix our eyes to God. Whenever we reach trouble and trials where we have no power. God himself will fight for us. God himself will see the prayers in our hearts. And he's the one who defeats every power. All the powers that have stood to attack Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. Because everything that Satan brings in your life is one thing that wants to separate you from God. It's the one thing that will bring you shame. It's to, the, the one thing that will bring uh, that will tarnish the name of your God. So we ought to stand on our God. And we witness him. And you say whatever happens there's a God who spoke to me. There's something God said about me. God who brought me in this job and he will not allow me to be removed and even if I'm removed he has other good plans for me do not conform to the things that attack you but you stand in the side of God stand in the side of God stand on the side of God God is the only one that has the power to defeat everything that is before you. Do not deny God in a time of trial. But yet stand strong on your God. God will fight for you. You students. God will fight for you. Do not think that you'll cheat so that you get good grades. You say the God that brought me to this school is the one who gave me the strength to even have good grades. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will fight for you. Prayer fights for us. When we fix our eyes on God, it helps us not to fight for ourselves. And we are able to witness God. Our round of applause to our God. Prayer fights for us in our daily lives. The third thing, these are the positive consequences we have seen that are brought by prayer. The other thing we're going to look at is the negative consequences that may be brought by prayer. In Daniel 6, uh, in the English version 24 that we've just read, we see they call the men who had falsely accused Daniel to be brought there with their family. They brought the families of those men, their children, their wives. They threw them in the lion's den. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What was, what, why would those people become victims? What was the consequence? What were they facing? Every time you wish something good for someone, it is a prayer that you are, you are praying on their life. When you're, you're thinking positively about someone, if you think about me in a positive way, it is a prayer you're putting on me. When you speak positively about me, and you speak good words about me, about me, or 
me I speak positive words about you. It's a good prayer that you're pushing on me. Oh, that I'm pushing on you. But speaking ill of someone, whatever reason pushes you to, whether it's jealousy that pushes you to speak ill of that person, or any other reason, you are praying in a negative way for them. That's why we have to pray about the, the thoughts that people have on us. Because the way people think about you and the way people confess about you, it happens. It true. These people came, went and accused Daniel. They did not wish him well. And there's nothing he had done to them. Only jealousy. That's pushed them to go to the king more, uh, three times, more than three times. And they want to remind the king about his decree. And the king really put some effort so that he may, he may protect Daniel. But these men went back. They went back. And they insisted. So that they may put someone in trial. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What happened to them? the negative consequence of wishing ill on others of not being happy for others not being happy of the good things that, have reached, uh, that our friends have reached you sit down and you speak ill about your friends and you, talk, you shame them you, gi you are giving them to Satan. You are giving them to Satan. Let us protect each other spiritually. May you protect me and as I protect you. It will be a good prayer you'll be praying for me and it will be a good prayer I pray for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These men, they thought that they were doing something good for themselves. They thought that they were getting rid of Daniel. They did not know that they are bringing a negative consequence on their family. The consequence of death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The consequence of death. Because what they wished for Daniel, it is what happened to them. And yet, not only themselves, but their families also. Mm. It, it reached them and their families. Brethren, let us try to be good. Let us strive to love each other. Look at your neighbor next to you. Love them. Wish them well. Even if they are weak, pray for them. Do not stand against them. Even if there are things that you do not meet on, if you, you feel that they are disturbing you, approach God and pray for them. And show them God once again. Say, God, change the, the, the manners of this person instead of fighting them, instead of shaming them. It's not in, only here in church. Even in our work. In our daily work. Even in our marriages. And in society. Let us be people who have good manners. People who are uh, uh, the peacemakers. It will have good consequences for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
the children of these men and their wives will tell me that they were victims of what? What was the reason? The meanness of their fathers. If you do good, the consequences will come on you and they will reach your children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The consequences will come on you. The good consequences. And they will also reach your children. And everyone in all the next generations. And for on all your family. And for those who you are related to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will have a, a positive consequence for us. Let your children be, not be denied of service because of the bad things their father did. Or that their mother did. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us be people of value. Let us learn to do well. Let us be peacemakers in the house of the Lord. Those with whom you serve God. Those you sing with in the choir. Those you do protocol with. Those you intercede with. Do not stand against your neighbor. If they are weak, become their intercessor. Even if they do not know. You will find that sometimes these things change. You are Christians, your friend. Do good to them. If there's a problem you see on them, even if it's something where she needs help, please give it to her. But be quiet. God himself will do it. And you will see the positive consequence. Not the negative consequence. You will see your child. And they will say, oh. This is the child of Papa Dani. Papa Dani did good. This is the child of Mutoni. I remember the good that my, her mother did for me. You say, oh, this is the child of Mama Shema. Her mom once prayed for me when I had a great problem. And I was rescued. Let me do something. Because her mother did good to me. And your children would benefit from that. And they would say, oh, Dani is my, our relative. Oh, that man of God. That man is a man of God. That woman is a woman of God. Do not speak ill of them. She's a prayer warrior. She does the work of God. She's a protocol member. I know, I know them. We pray together. But when you have done something wrong, you say, uh, you say you are saved. You listen. May our God help us. Let our prayers have positive consequences to us in our daily lives. Let our prayers have value to our lives. Instead of people giving us or, 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 or judging us, let our prayers bring favor to us. From God. Let them bring favor on us among men. Even our children and their children, children. May they also be granted favor from God because of our goodness. Let our God do good to us. The advisors are concluded. Let us continue praying. 
What I know is the prayer you pray. God he, uh, listens and answers them. Anytime you go before God, believe that God has heard your prayers. Our God answers. Our God listens. Our God works. A prayer, even if you pray prayed it at a certain time, you will see the answer coming at some point. And the way we saw this, it's not only on us, and our families also will benefit from it, even our country and our church. Let us continue praying. Let us pray on our own. Let us pray for our families. Let us pray Pray for our church. Let us pray for our country. Let us not have a limit on our prayers. Hallelujah. And you feel that if I pray this week, when you are in the fire of prayer, and you feel that it is enough, but instead continue, continue, do not get tired. The word of God tells us that let us pray without ceasing so that our God may rescue us. May Jesus bless you. May Jesus do good to you as we we stand and remain in the power of prayer because that's the secret that will make us reach full victory. May God bless you. Let us stand and pray. We're going to stand and pray. We're going to tell our God we beg you increase our power of prayer because prayer gives us favor because prayer brings you to fight for us because prayer brings a good consequence for our families when we do it well Lord increase in us the power to pray let us pray almighty God the God of power we thank, we thank you for your power God, that we have found in prayer let our prayer be heard in your ears Lord our Father may it bring favor in our lives may the Holy Spirit mourn and pray for us because we are in your presence Almighty God hold of hosts the, the, let prayer fight for us sometimes we are treated unfairly in this life. sometimes we, we are defeated in this life, and it really discourages us. And people stand and fight us. Lord, in those moments, may you fight for us. May you speak for us. We are fixing our eyes on you. Lord, may you do mighty works. Because we are also standing on your side. You are a mighty God. Oh God. Let our hearts speak good words. Let us do good to our neighbors. May we think good things, good thoughts on them. Let us do good deeds for them. May we thought, have good thoughts on them. May we love them. Because that will bring positive consequences to us to our and our children and their children. Too. Lord, all this may you never increase our power to pray. May you increase our power of prayer. Lord, may you increase our power to pray. Lord, may you increase our power to pray. Lord, increase our power to pray. Because that's where we'll receive our full victory. Who fighting for us will never, will never reach anywhere. But when we stand and pray, Lord, you make us reach complete victory. We give you glory. We exalt you. We clap for you and we shout our praise unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.